Have you ever wondered what the weather is like in Utah? Well, let's talk about it right now. I'm Mike Gallagher. I'm a realtor right here in northern Utah. If this is your first time to my channel and you want to learn everything about living in Utah, start by hitting the subscribe button down below. Let's become a friend. Also, if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified every time I release a new video. And that's every week. And I absolutely love the phone calls and emails from all over the world. So if you're even considering buying or selling a home in Utah, call me, text me, send me an email, or even send a drone. Today's video, we're going to talk about the weather right here in northern Utah. We're also going to talk a little bit about what I personally do to escape when we have the hotter days and the colder days. It's a lovely spring day today. It's actually about 75 degrees outside right now. Let's start with the spring weather. In March, the average high temperature is about 53 degrees. When we pop into April, we jump up to about 61 degrees. And then when we jump into May, it's 71 degrees. Now this time of year, we do anticipate some rain. On average, the precipitation for each month is about nine days of rain. And actually this morning, it did rain a little bit. You seem to find this time of year, you seem to get a little bit of rain for maybe an hour or so, and then the sun seems to come out the rest of the day. And that's pretty typical for the spring weather. How much rain do we get a year? Well, in Utah, we average about 15 inches of total rain per year. Now, the U.S. average is about 38 inches of rain. And we see most of this rain during the spring and fall time. As we shift into the summer months, our average temperature is about 90 degrees. Now in July, we will see some days that approach 100 degrees. Not uncommon. Now remember, this is a dry heat. We have very low to no humidity in the area. If during this time you find it a little too warm, you can always head to the mountains. Go up hiking, biking, just have a picnic. It is typically about 20 degrees cooler in the higher elevations. For me personally, when I want to escape a little bit of the heat, I head up to the Uinta Mountains. It's not uncommon on a 4th of July for me to get the truck out, uh, put a cooler in, put some food, put our fishing poles in. We'll head up. You go up to, we go up to Evanston, Wyoming, and we turn in there to the Uinta Mountains, and we spend the day hiking a little bit, fishing, uh, having a little picnic. And then when the weather gets a little bit cooler, we come back down to the valley, drop the tailgate down, and watch the firework displays. Kind of sounds like a country song, actually. As we head into the fall weather, we'll see average temperatures during the high period of about 78 degrees in northern Utah. It's absolutely lovely outside. It's one of my favorite times of year. It's also a lovely time to go catch a college football game. And along comes winter time, where the average temperatures are in the mid to upper 30s during the daytime. And in the evenings, it can drop below freezing. How much snow do we get? Well, we average about 43 inches of snowfall per year. Now, the U.S. average is only about 27 inches of snowfall. You know what everyone's thinking? That's a lot of snow. Well, let's examine that number just a little bit closer. We have to remember, we have many days and where it'll snow in the mountains, but down in the valley on the lower levels, we will just get a dusting of snow or possibly we'll just get rain. So what's there to do in the winter months? Well, there's a lot of outdoor sports you can do. You can go skiing, you can snowmobile, you can go snowboarding. And if you don't do any of those, you can always take a trip to Park City for some shopping and dining. It's a beautiful place and a beautiful time of year to visit Park City. So what do I do to escape the cold? I head south for some golfing, shopping, dining. After all, I jump in the car. I'm only 300 miles away from St. George. I'm 340 miles away from Mesquite, Nevada that has some beautiful golf courses. And I'm 420 miles away from Las Vegas that has just about everything you would want. Now the interstate that heads down there, it has many 80 mile an hour zones. People go faster than that all the time. I call it the I-90, because most people are doing about 90 mile an hour. Sometimes me and the wife will jump in the car and we'll head up to Ogden, Utah. They have a small little airport there that has a couple commercial flights. It's a nice little airport. Out front, they've got free parking, 
and the TSA lines you just walk right through. Well, Legionnaire runs a flight to Phoenix, Arizona. So we'll hop on that flight and go down, do a little bit of uh, shopping, dining, golfing, just have a great time. I am filming this during the COVID-19 pandemic, so I'm not too sure if that particular flight to Phoenix, Arizona will still be in existence when we go back to normal. So that's a brief view of the weather that we experience here in northern Utah. If you have any kind of questions, by all means, reach out to me. I'd love to answer your questions. And I hope you enjoy some of the other videos that I have to offer. Music